Hi, I'm here with Luke from the Integra Land Estate. Now, we concentrate normally on the Lucas Estate, but the Lucas Estate is sold. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a discussion with you about Bally Manors. But Luke, just tell us what's happening in the market out here currently. Absolutely. So for us at the moment, we're seeing a, the demand at the moment in Ballarat is just absolutely unprecedented. In the last three weeks, we've had 60 lots released across our two pro, um, flagship projects. That's Lucas and Bally Manus. And at the moment, we've seen those stages sell out on the day. Um, for instance, we had a 42 lot stage released in Bally Manus here only about 10 days ago. And on the day, we had effectively almost two thirds of those spoken for. And by the following day, they were completely gone. Uh, that was all 42. Um, that level of demand is something that we have never seen here in Ballarat. The, the increased demand tends to be coming from that metro type environment. So for those, we're seeing a lot of people making a tree change coming in from the metro environments to make that have with cost of living benefits, the affordability is still a big, big factor, but also the lifestyle benefits. So for here in Ballarat, of course, our established schooling, our established um, transport networks, our established uh, infrastructure that does um, already exist here is highly appealing to those, particularly in a family or our family situation. So our buying groups tend to be those in their late 20s up to um, late 30s um, for those relocating from Melbourne with young children. That seems to be a really common trend that we are seeing and something that they're basically relocating based upon the, uh, a lot of them for this schooling and, and transport opportunities that still exist to work in the CBD as well. So talk us through Valley Menace. And I'll, uh -huh. just, I'll just, so um, this is, and I just took a, um, a clip for Kelly. So she's aware of what we're looking at in Indeed. reference to the state. So, to me, it looks like it's marked against this estate through here, which is really well established. Most, it certainly is there. Is basically, Bally Manus, in, in terms of development terms, it's what you call more of an infill top development rather than a greenfields development. It's built in, but it's, it's located within established infrastructure. So in through to the right-hand side here, or heading to the north side of Bally Manus, basically you have established Alfred, and that's Alfred and Drive, one of the most sought-after streets within Alfred. And, uh, in through there, a highly sought-after family enclave, as it were, big grand family homes with the house prices selling well and truly to the sixes for a lot of properties in through there and still uh, currently selling at the moment at that rate. So you can see there's really good demand for that area. Bally Manus literally connects directly through. So as a result, those within um, Bally Manus have connection not only to the great new amenities that Bally Manus will bring on site, but also the established amenities already within established Alfred. So for instance, within a kilometre walk, from those within the estate here, you've got the Alfred and Sporting Grounds, one of the major sporting precincts in all of Ballarat, and actually to the point where the demand for sporting teams there, they have uh, four junior football teams at the moment and the under four teams. That's how many, uh, uh, how much demand they have in that regard. You've also got the Alfred and um, Primary School and, and, and St Thomas More, two very highly regarded and highly sought after primary facilities here in the Alfred and Lucas precinct, um, area. And as a result, that's a less than a kilometre walk from the Bally Manus estate. So we've found that again, that's really added to that family time of um, desirability for those with young uh, young families. What you've also then got as well as that on site within Bally Manus, and I'll draw your attention more so to this this uh, map just through here. What you've also got are things like a four hectare central park, which will have a, an athletics track in through here, a um, pocky and soccer field as well, as well as also a multitude of other benefits like things like uh, mixed use courts, we've got ex um, extensive playgrounds, things like that. And that's actually a Ballarat City Council developed parkland. We'll be doing the groundworks for that. And Ballarat City Council have uh, committed that they will have that operational by the end of 2019. Oh, okay, so huge great. value add for those within the estate. What you've also got as well too is another council, Barrett City Council um, funded and committed resource which is the Future Community Centre. Very similar to that which we've just seen completed in Lucas. Designed to, to house um, facilities for residents, things like kindergartens, playgroups, meeting spaces for social groups, mobile libraries, visiting, things like that. And that is already one, already one committed to by Barrett City Council. As well as that too, we have the allocation here for the Future State Primary School as well to service the growing area at, um, as well. Now that has not yet been secured by state government. However, the Lucas site has just been secured by state government and settled upon. And as a result, we expect that this will take a similar amount of time frame to um, develop as it were. As such, we hope to see that secured within the next two to four years as such. As well as that, you've also got a five hectare lake and wetland space in through here as well. Really great resource for residents also. It's uh, something that we find is a highly attractive resource for, for residents, even simply just for the, for the case of uh, beautifying the area. 
and things of that nature. As well as, of course, too, we also have a proposed shopping centre over through on this side of Carnham Road as well. Um, this will be a great resource for local residents. Basically, permits are already in place with that. And one of the biggest developers in Australia has actually got that site, as it were. So something that we uh, haven't got the immediate details as to, if, as to when that will take shape, but the permits are very much in place and they those developers are. Who are, you, who are your buyers here? Are we owner occupier or are we investors? Great question. We are still predominantly and very much an owner occupied driven estate. We okay. find that our estates are in general just simply due to the fact that our price point is quite a bit higher than those others in Ballarat. Great. Um, as such, don't get me wrong, investment still does play a part, but where across Ballarat you'd be looking at about 35% of all homes are investment properties, we're closer to that 20 to 25%. So we are lower than what you'd expect to see across yeah, good, the good. remainder of Ballarat, which is a very positive thing. Um, we still have build covenants on this Indeed, estate? We Great. Are. Absolutely. The build covenants that you see within Bally Manus are very much in line with what you see in Lucas. Yep. One benefit that you do see in Bally Manus compared with Lucas, as it were, is the fact that in Lucas, a sealed system rainwater tank is required with all builds. In Bally Manus, that is not necessarily required, although some builders will still include it as part of your six star rating. is isn't actually a requirement. So, as such, there's flexibility about how a builder can get the best outcome as well. Um, and Bally Manus is actually closer to Mel uh, to Ballarat CBD isn't Most it? certainly is. I'll just very quickly grab your map to highlight that fact. And this is a very good map just to show that fact. Um, and you're welcome to take this away with you as well. Let's Thank you. Do. Basically, this particular map just in through here shows to you the actual existing road networks and how where they are in terms of how these estates are situated within Ballarat. And this is the Lucas estate just in through here. And you can see that this is the Ballymanus estate just here and this is the Ballarat CBD. So geographically, you can actually see that we are a little bit closer to the CBD in terms of, um, in regards to Ballymanus as it were. Um, basically that access straight down the Trope Street, it's a great way into town yeah. as well. Um, and as such too, that's where Bally Manus is a very attractive proposition is the fact that at the moment its price point is that little bit lower than Lucas because a lot of the amenities that Bally Manus has to offer moving forward aren't yet quite as, as established as Lucas. However, as you heard me mention, pretty much the amenities that you're seeing here in Bally Manus are very reflective of what we already have in place at Lucas, yeah. which is what's going to be a core value driver moving forward. And we just drove past there, and what I noticed too is that price proposition um, seems to be, I think it will be retained quite well because of the existing um, properties that you've got built through. Where's Dorset? Indeed, so Dorset Drive is just in. Yeah, through the we came out. We came in through Dorset, Indeed. and um, I noticed that those properties in there are. Well, I think you said it earlier, 600,000 as Indeed. an average. And so once the infrastructure in here is in play, it will be it'll be a massive contender for what's happening here in Lucas. Without a doubt, absolutely. Okay. We find that we're very fortunate. The biggest competitor to our Lucas product is actually a product that we have ourselves, and that's Bally Manor. So for us, we're able to present an unbiased, yeah, that's great. An unbiased opinion on both absolutely. and to allow clients to sort of choose their own. The other great thing that Bally Manor has, which is a real standout quality that Lucas will never be able to offer, is the fact that Bally Manor maintains that Alfred and Zoning. The Alfred and Zoning here in Ballarat is such an important thing. It's the core catchment area for the Ballarat High School, which is located just in through here. Now Lucas maintains the same zoning and for Ballarat High School as does Bally Manus. But that zoning literally stops as soon as you get to Carnham Road. As soon as you cross over you do become Winter Valley and unfortunately miss out on that zoning. Now what that means in the Ballarat marketplace is that by comparison there's a great development here called Winter Valley Rise, an absolutely fantastic one, a good craft friend of mine sells that estate. They launched that to the market in September of 2015. It's a date sold about 100 allotments, so travelling along quite well. We launched to the market about eight months later than that here in Bally Manus, and basically we've sold just getting close now to 300 allotments. Wow. Our price point is a little bit higher by comparison. The only major difference, the geographic location is very similar. The big difference for us is the fact that we are zoned Alfred, so therefore we get the high school zoning, which appeals to that core.